trouble. It looks like the raptors have already been here. We've got to go faster, Rusty. Then it's time to go turbo. Hold on, Ruby. Again! And to make it worse, I'm not totally sure they even knew we were racing them. Hey, guys! How goes raptor racing? They beat us. Again. Nothing an extra set of rocket boosters won't fix. How's the dig? Totally rocking. But I could use some help moving my collection back to camp. Sure thing, Ozzy. We're on our way. Hey, guys! Your rock movers are here and ready to help. Great. Let's get Ozzy out of here before he takes half the island back to camp. Guys, dig this. Get it? Because <laughs> I'm digging up rocks? This one's some type of blue amber. Whoa. It's beautiful. But this little guy doesn't want to bunch. Careful, bro. That rock might be connected to something even bigger underground. As the island rock expert, I assure you there's no danger in removing one small, teeny, tiny rock. Now, come to Ozzy! <laughs> That's never happened before. Or that! Ah! Ozzy! Gotcha! Whoa! Thanks, Rusty. That was a close one. You know what's not close, Ozzy? The ground! We have to get over there, but it's really far across now. So, we're stuck? This is where we live now? <laughs> no, we just need a bridge. <laughs> One instant bridge ready to cross. It's not wide enough for the sidecar. It doesn't need to be. See you on the other side, bro. Yeah! Let's see. Got my rock hammer, the quartz, the obsidian, the basalt. Oh, no! I forgot the blue amber. Be right back! There you are, my precious. Yeah! Oh, no! It's okay, guys. The blue amber is safe. But, um, quick question. How am I going to get off of here? Don't worry, Ozzy. We'll figure something out. Hmm. To reach him, we'll need something really long. Like a rope. Great idea. But I know something that'll work even better than a rope. Steggy's cables. Oh, genius, Ruby. Steggy, we need you. <laughs> to get Ozzy off that pillar. Hi, Steggy! Hey, Ozzy! What's the plan? We need you to shoot your back plates across the chasm so Ozzy can walk across on your cables, like a tightrope. That should be easy peasy, dino squeezy. Nice shot, Steggy. Give it a go, Ozzy, but be careful and don't look down. <laughs> You can do this, Ozzy. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, no! I look down! Ah! 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 Oh, no, Ozzy! Hold on! Oh, I'm holding on, but I think we have a bigger problem. Uh-oh, the chasm's filling with lava. That's going to be trouble. Yep. A whole lava trouble. We've got to get Ozzy out of there before the lava gets too close. We need to do more than save Ozzy. Once the lava fills the chasm, it'll flow directly to your camp. Please tell me someone has some good news. I've still got the blue amber. That's good news, right? I know how we can get Ozzy back across. Steggy, I need you to retract your cables as fast as you can. 
dynamite plan, Rusty. This might get bumpy, Ozzy, so hold on extra tight. Thanks for the spectastic save. <laughs> You're welcome. We're not out of this yet. The chasm's almost full. We need to get the lava out of the chasm and back into the volcano before it overflows. How? You know that super hot mega ouchy lava, right? Then we'll need something that can take the heat while we drain the lava. Like Sticky. I'm ready to get rustified. Let's combine it and dino design it. <laughs> We'll start with Steggy because she's awesome. Then we'll give her a powerful vacuum so she can suck up the lava in the chasm. Last but not least, Steggy will need a lava blaster to spray the lava back up into the volcano. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Ronnie, we need you.
the lava and plug the hole. <laughs> Great job, Steggy. You rock. Thanks, Steggy. You saved the camp and the island. Uh, no need to thank me. But a Steggy cheer would be kind of cool. Go, Go Steggy! <laughs> oh, shucks. Now that the island's out of danger, how would you like a special presentation of Rock's Aussie Found? <laughs> you better grab a seat. This is going to take a while. I found this green beauty this morning. It's a metamorphic rock called Epitope. And when you look at it through the sun, it just sparkles like you've never seen before. Rusty's Missing Mom Adventure. Welcome to Dino Island. Wow, what a beautiful place. The jungle is so lush and there's even a volcano. I've never seen anything like it. And that's just the beginning. The whole island is super amazing. We're going to take you on a tour so you can see for yourself. Are there flowers? You know how much I love wildflowers. You'll see flowers galore. I have not seen this human before. And what is it doing on my island? Ready to go, Mom? Mom? It's something called Mom. Yes, but first... Bring it in, Brawny. Thanks so much for the nice, smooth ride here. Oh, anytime. <sighs> Mom hugs are the best. Have fun, everyone. Mom hugs? I deserve the best. I should have mom hugs. And this is our friends, the Obros Camp. Oliver and Ozzy are always off exploring or digging things up. But they let us use their camp whenever we want. Oh, it's nice that you have such friendly neighbors on the island. I'm a friendly neighbor. Well, I'm a neighbor. And here comes another one. Only this one we built. You must be Rusty's mom. I'm going to guess you're Spike. That's what they call me. Let's get the buggies for the tour. I hear you're super strong, Spike. Yup. This Triceratops has triple strength. <laughs> wow, you sure do. Oh, you've got a you got a little smudge. <gasps> Thanks, Rusty's mom. Why is it Rusty's mom? I'm the king of this island. It should be my mom. It gives hugs and it's lovable. That mom will be mine. <laughs> you were right, kids! Flowers galore! Oh, goodness! I thought I saw... <gasps> I did! A real live raptor! Amazing! Just wait until you see the view from the top of Mystic Mountain. Here they come! Now's my chance! We need to move them so we can get past. How in the world could you do that? With a little help from our friend. Spike, we need you. Dino, fight! Hey, Spike. Can you help us move these? Sure thing. Let's get to work! Oh! Oh, I was so distracted by the raptor that I didn't take a picture of the yellow flowers. I'll go back and get it while Spike cleans up. <gasps> wow, another robo-dinosaur. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, Mom Hug. I like it. Um, I heard you like flowers. I know where there are some brilliant uh, blue ones. <laughs> yep, blue. Why don't I show them to you? Aw, that's so thoughtful of you. Lead the way. Right over here. This will take us to the green flowers. Don't you mean blue flowers? Uh, yeah, that's 
bright blue. <laughs> what a way to travel! I love this island! Uh, Great work, Spike. Back to tour time soon, Mom. Mom? <laughs> That's Frankosaurus, and he's got my mom. Why? Um, because she's, like, the best. Oh, right. But we haven't finished the tour yet. We need to catch up to them. Then we need to build something that goes super fast. Let's make something great. Awesome sled, Rusty. You guys catch up to Mom. I'll finish up here. We're coming for you, Mom. <laughs> Awesome. It's so pretty, I think. We're going a little too fast to see anything, don't you think? Nope, we need to go faster. Oh, is this where the blue flowers are? Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> right this way. Wow. Look at all these amazing gems and crystals. Now I shall have all the mom hugs for myself. Oh no! She's trapped inside the cave! What are we gonna do? We have to find a way in there. Rusty? Is that you? Mom! Are you alright? Oh yes! Your friend is so nice! But wow! Boulders sure do fall a lot on this island. Don't worry, Mrs. R. We'll get you out of there. Oh, no rush. Frankosaurus is gonna show me blue cave flowers. Hey, guys! They finished moving all the... More boulders? Yep. Only a lot more this time. And Rusty's mom is trapped inside that cave. We have to move them fast. Or we could dig a new tunnel to get into the cave sooner. But we'd need something super strong. <laughs> Perfect. Let's combine it and dino design it. We'll start with triple strong Spike. Add a digger claw to his tail. And finally, a mega driller to get through the toughest spots. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Ronnie, we need you. which are in this part of the cave. Let's get to work! Show them to me. Wow, they actually are blue flowers. Oh no! What'd you say? Huh? Oh, I have a smudge. Oh dear, let me get that. Huh. Oh no! I mean, yay! Rusty and Ruby are here. Hi, kids. Spike, look at the flowers your friend brought me to see. 
Frankosaurus, what are you doing with my... Oh, look at the time! Gotta go! <laughs> Thanks for digging me a way out! <laughs> that boulders seem to fall a lot on this island? Don't worry. Spike got us in here. He can get us out. Right, Spike? Oh, yeah! I'll get the job done! Hugs really are the best. Don't I know it. Thank you for that incredible tour. I can see why you two love it here. I mean, besides all the falling rocks and such. And I'm so glad I got a picture of those amazing blue flowers. I may never see anything like them again. Except right there. Aw, your little robo-dinosaur brought me blue cave flowers. Uh, Mom, Frankosaurus isn't one of our... <gasps> How sweet. Oh, never mind. I'm glad you like it here. I can't wait until my next visit. Me too. Goodbye, Mom. Rusty versus the Dino Invasion. <laughs> oh, almost done? That tickles! All done. We've made something really great. And when we need it, all I have to do is press this red button. But first, Brawny needs to charge with lava overnight. It'll take a mega charge to power up his new awesome mode. Then my lab will be even more fab. Before you start charging, could you give us a ride back to Sparkton Hills? Sure! Tell us more about this Sparkton Hills place. It's a really cool city with buildings and mountains. It's basically the greatest place in the world. You should visit one day. That'd be it so sounds cool! sounds amazing! Okay, Brawny, we'd better get going. Bye, guys! Bye! Bye, Rusty and Ruby! Finally! I thought they'd never leave. Everyone at school will be blown away when I bring you for show and tell tomorrow. <laughs> All of Sparkton Hills will be blown away. <laughs> what is this Sparkton Hills they speak of? And if it's so great, then why isn't it mine? <laughs> hmm. Maybe it could be. With a little help from my loyal subjects. No dinosaur can resist the conga line. This way. Frankie thinks one measly little raptor's impressive. But wait until they see what I've got in store. Humans of Spartan Hill see me with all of these dinosaurs, they will recognize me as their one true king. Liam, thank you so much for your show and sing. You can go back to your own class now. Liam sure loves to sing. He really does. <laughs> and now. Thanks again, everyone. <laughs> and now I give you my very own. <laughs> oh, 
Another dinosaur? <laughs> that can't be what I think it is. Wait, stop! <laughs> Downtown. And oh, it looks like he brought friends. What, 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 what's happening? <laughs> hey, come back! Oh! One tutti fruity. <gasps> Whoa! I can't believe you guys brought raptors back from Dino Island. We didn't bring them, Frankie. Really? Then who did? Greetings, Spartonians! Oh, that's who. It is I, Frankosaurus, your new king! We have to get downtown and stop Frankosaurus and the raptors before they do too much damage. Botasaur, we need you. <laughs> Ready to herd some raptors? <laughs> okay, well, good luck, guys. You're welcome to help too, Frankie. Really? Well, I did kind of build Frankosaurus, so I guess I could help clean up his mess. Hey, Rusty and Ruby. You wouldn't happen to have something big enough to hold a dinosaur, would you? A Triceratops? No way! Liam and I are on our way. Yes! I'll deal with Ranger Anna's Tricera friend. You and Frankie head downtown. On it! <laughs> hey! Stop it! Gotcha! Hey, stop! That's my ice cream! Great Caesar salad! My subjects are ready to celebrate their new king! Huh? Hey, who invited them to my party? You're making me look bad, Frankosaurus! Go home! No, you go home! No, you! No, you! No, you! No, you! No, you. Come on, Bodasaur. It's Raptor Roundup time. <laughs> Rusty and Bodasaur? No problem. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Liam. He's causing a bit of a ruckus. He just wants to play. Everyone knows Triceratops love to play. Heal, T-Tops. That's his name. I picked up a little dino along the way. <laughs> Always wanted a dino friend. T tops and Liam until the end. It's T tops. T tops and Liam forever. Hmm. Liam loves to sing, and T tops loves to dance. I've got an idea. Frankie, you're my hero. Huh, saving the day is actually kind of fun. Who knew? Great job, Frankie. But we're not done yet. We still need to get Officer Carl's whistle back. Bodasaur? <laughs> hey, come back! <laughs> Got it. Thanks, Frankie. Ew, dino slobber. Even worse than monkey slobber. <laughs> there, that should do it. Okay, Liam, it's time to commence Operation Dancing Dino. All right!
time for Plan B. Dinosaurs. Is Bronny charged? Our new super build is ready for action. It's red button time. The Dino Air, Flight 001 to Spartan Hill. Oh, awesome. Please make sure your seat belts are correctly fastened. and they're causing tons of trouble. I might be able to help with that one. I speak a little Tricera. And I'm a playground expert. <laughs> Let's go! <gasps> Everyone out of the way! Look out! <laughs> a baby raptor? That one's on me. I brought him for show and tell. My bad. I need to stop him which means you need to stop Frankosaurus. I guess I can do that, even though I am a little afraid of... Oh! Time to bring it! Right! Come on, Rusty. There's a joy-riding raptor that needs to be stopped. We'll take care of the others. Sounds like a plan. Let's do this. The teeter-totter stuck on its horns. We need to help it. No problem. I shouldn't pull my cables back until she calms down. I don't want her to get hurt. On it. <laughs> my Tricera's a little rusty. I have an idea. T-Tops loves my singing. Maybe this dino will too. Let's do the dino dance, the dino dance, the dino dance. It's a small size shape. Time. Get the job done! Okay, come on down. Phew. Thank you. All in a day's work. Always 
ready to lend a wing. Ah! Looks like plan B isn't gonna work. I won't let you get away with this, Frankosaurus. Time for plan T. everyone. Now we just have to get them all back to... If I didn't know any better, I think that was a... T-Rex! Oh! Ah! Awesome! Behold, the king of Spartan Hills and the king of the dinosaurs! <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> okay, T-Rex, it's smash time!
my plan. Time to board my ship and get out of here. Time we get these dinos back to their island home. And I know just how to do it. Red, Red Fun Time! time. Here comes the Bronto on the Bronto! Sparkton Hills. Hope to see you again soon. Passengers, please take your seats and prepare for takeoff. Why don't you do the honors, Ruby? Hold on, everyone. It's time to bolt. Pretty awesome stuff. And the best thing we make is a great team. Yep. Thanks for the ride, Brawny. Call me if you need a Bronto on the Bronto. <laughs> what kind of dinosaur is that? <laughs> it's an Ozzysaurus. <laughs> Rusty, Ruby, I found the most amazing thing. Rocks! I'm bringing them to camp. Come check them out. They're awesome. <laughs> uh, maybe you already have enough rocks, Ozzy. Hi, Oliver. Wow, beautiful. And that's just a hint of what's on the island. Legend says it's full of giant crystals. Whoa, what's that? My greatest challenge. It's an ancient map to a hidden place called the Crystal Cave, full of giant, beautiful crystals. It's Ozzy's dream to find that cave. He's been trying to figure out the map for years. I think those symbols are three boulders, but the map is so old, it's really hard to read. Not for my tablet. I can scan the map and enhance it. You guys have the most awesome stuff! I've got it! I was right, those are three boulders! And now the map shows how to find them! That must be where the crystal cave is. Oliver, my dream is about to come true! Whoa, it's the Obros, yo! Obros, Obros, let's go! Obros, here we go, yo, yo! Whoa, it's the Obros! Rocks, rock! <laughs> Time to fall! strong enough to move a boulder, but I know who is. Spike, we need you. 
Dino Fight! Hi, Spike. Can you help us move a boulder? Time for some Tricerobot triple strength. Let's get to work! <gasps> the boulder! <laughs> I've got this one. No problem. <laughs> no, Ozzy! That's the wrong boulder! It moved a little. I did it! I did it! I did it! Woo! Oh, bros! Oh, yeah! Oh, no! The boulders are booby trapped! And that was definitely the wrong one! Spike can stop them! Use your head, big guy! Oh, yeah! Head body time! is behind that boulder. Let me at it! Nice work! All right! Um, Rusty, Ruby, where's the crystal cave? There's gotta be something here. Ozzy, you're a genius! I knew it! I am? Your hand! It's on another map! How do we get way up there? We need wings. Bodidactyl wings. For sure. Dac, we need you. Dino Flurry! Yay! Nailed it! Greetings, what's up? We need you to fly us to the volcano. The volcano? That sounds extreme. Really awesome! Come on, Ozzy. Let's go find the crystal cave. Whee! Time to wing it! There it is! <gasps> There's a ledge. Maybe it's the entrance to the crystal cave. Dak, lower me down so I can get a look. Heads down! I can't reach it. I can help. Ooh, sparkly. Whoops. Sorry, Rusty. I saw a neat rock. Well, all rocks are neat, but it was extra neat. Are you okay? Yeah, but I don't see the crystal cave. There's nothing here. Wait. Ruby, there's a map to another spot. I'll send you a picture. Got it. Nice work. Thanks for the ride, Dak. <laughs> Anytime. Who's the bot? I'm the bot. Oh, yeah. This map leads to a clearing right in the middle of the island with a big X on it. Ooh, that sounds easy to find. Then let's go. This is the clearing. But there's no X. I guess it wasn't easy to find after all. Don't worry, Ozzy. We'll find the crystal cave. But how? There must be an X somewhere. It's hopeless. I'll never get to see the crystal cave. We're so close, Ozzy. Don't give up yet. Maybe my tablet can pick up something we can't see. Activating drone mode. Optimist stuff ever. There it is, a giant X. This is the middle of the X. Crystal cave, here we come. This ground is like solid rock. It's too hard to dig through. We can do it. We just need something super strong, like a huge jackhammer. I know someone who's super strong. You do? Who? You, Spike. And with a few modifications, you can be a jackhammer, too. 
Rat a tat tat! I like the sound of that! Let's combine it and dino design it! We'll start with Spike. Then give him a mega jackhammer tail. And giant dirt pounders to help him make a tunnel down to the cave. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Ronnie, we need you. Pronto on the pronto. Crystal Cave. No, but it must be right around the corner. Come on! I can't wait to see all the giant crystals. It's gonna be awesome! <laughs> oh no! These boulders are made out of hardened lava. That's extra hard to smash through. This must be the entrance to the Crystal Cave. But now we'll never get in. Oh, yes, we will. Time for Super Turbo Mode, Spike! Bye-bye, Boulder! Showing us this super amazing place. You were right, Ozzy. You did need more rocks. Rocks rock! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> It's time for a nap, but trust me, she'll be asleep soon. I'm a baby expert. <laughs> okay, baby, where did you go? It's almost nap time. Oh, <laughs> come here, you! <laughs> she sure is full of energy. Oh, yeah. 
getting her to take a nap can't be too hard, right? <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Sleep. It played music and had little animals on it that spun around. Great idea. Let's make one for the baby raptor. Give us a few minutes, Velocity. Then lead the baby back toward her nest. We'll meet you there. Okay, got it. See you there, boy. One dino mobile with colorful island fruit. And raptorific music. And just in time. <laughs> gotcha! Phew. That was harder than I thought. Oh, baby raptor. Look here. <laughs> there you go, little guy. <laughs> I think this is gonna work. was unexpected. <laughs> oh no! She might get lost in the jungle! Come here! <laughs> we need another idea. One she can't eat. <laughs> Ow! Are you not getting tired? <laughs> I know how to wear her out so much she'll fall asleep. With a rustified raptor playground. I want to play on it. Thanks, Ruby. Oh, baby raptor, look! All kinds of things for you to play on. It's fun, fun, fun. And totally tiring, too. Of course. You want me to play too? Well, why not? Float. 
Let's combine it and dino design it. We'll start with velocity. Then add a motor and pontoons so she can go fast on water. And a remote controlled net to scoop the baby raptor out of the water. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Ronnie, we need you. Bronco on the for such a little baby raptor. <laughs> now let's get you back on dry land. And look who's waiting for you. Ah! <laughs> I'm sure they miss you too. Sorry, Mom and Dad Raptor. I was supposed to be looking after your baby, not floating around to sea. It's okay, Velocity. They know how hard babysitting can be. <sighs> Look! I think Baby Raptor is finally sleepy enough to take her nap. I did it! Oh, that was easy. Whew. We finally got her to sleep. Good job, Velocity. Velocity? I guess Velocity needed a nap, too. <laughs> Liam's Caterpillar Calamity. I love my new out-of-this-world alien kite! Check it out, Ralph. And I love my robotic kite flying program. Gotcha! I 
I never thought I'd say this, but that was too much, Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hey, look! A coconut! It must have floated all the way here from the jungle. <gasps> and it came with a friend. A wiggly, squiggly little caterpillar friend. Yeah. It's okay. We come in peace. That's what you say to aliens. And hopefully caterpillars, too. I sneeze when things tickle my nose. It's a Liam thing. You need a name. I'll call you... Wiggles. I'm Liam, your new best friend. Don't tell Ralph. Let's see what kind of caterpillar Wiggles is. Oh, Wiggles is a rainbow-spotted caterpillar. Rainbow-spotted caterpillars crawl to the top of the tallest tree in the jungle, the Bowie Bowie tree. The pollen from the tree's flowers makes their cocoons open. But it only happens one day a year. <gasps> Today! We need to get Wiggles on top of that tree fast, or he won't hatch into a butterfly. We can take the mobile rivet lab. Time for a jungle adventure! for our pal Wiggles. And a banana, in case he gets hungry. Wow! See, I told you Rusty and Ruby were amazing. All right, let's head to the Bowie Bowie tree, and Wiggles can become a butterfly. around here somewhere. <laughs> How's Wiggles doing? I think he wants to take a nap. He keeps <laughs> yawning, and he made himself a little blanket. Oh, that's not a blanket. It's a cocoon. Wiggles has started cocooning himself so he can turn into a butterfly. But he'll only turn into a butterfly if he's on the Bowie Bowie tree. Which tree is it? They're all really tall. It's that one. Whoa, it's really, really, really tall. It's important to stretch after long drives, Wiggles. Stretch with me. Hey, that's my friend. Give him back. Huh? Be careful, monkeys. Why do the monkeys want Wiggles? They don't want Wiggles. They want the banana. <laughs> no! My best friend in the entire world is in there. Seriously, don't tell Ralph. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> we need to save Wiggles. But how? The monkeys are really far up. <gasps> I know! We'll make stilts! Don't worry, Wiggles. Rusty and Ruby will save you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will! With our robo stilts! <laughs> about that. Go up! Gotcha! <laughs> Don't gotcha. Steady! <laughs> Thank you! Wiggles is 
He's almost totally cocooned. And he's getting sleepier. We have to get him to the buoy buoy tree fast. We saw it when we were up there. It's that way. Let's bolt. <laughs> Ruby, do you think our robo stilts will reach the top of the buoy buoy tree? Yeah, it didn't look that tall. Whoa. Um, Ruby? I was wrong. It might be the tallest thing ever. Stilts aren't gonna work. Look, the sun is setting soon. And Wiggles is totally cocooned. If we don't get Wiggles to the top of this tree fast, he'll never turn into a butterfly. There must be a way to get Wiggles to the top of the buoy buoy tree in time for him to hatch. We'll get you there, Wiggles, so you can spread your new wings and fly with your butterfly buddies. That's it. If we had wings like a butterfly... We could fly to the top of the buoy buoy tree. Let's combine it... And design it. First, we'll make giant mechanical butterfly wings. Then add antenna for GPS guidance. And a pouch to carry the terrarium in. Put it all together, and we've got our plan.
Rocky's Birthday Roundup. Pony. Maybe we can herd him back towards Liam's party. Cowboy style. Yeah, and then catch him. We just need some help from the mobile rivet lab. Sparked in 
hills. We need to get Liam's pony back before Frankie leaves town. <laughs> It's almost time for Liam to blow out his candles. He'll be opening his presents any minute. Yeah, everyone's at the party now. Even Botasaur. He loves playing cowboy. That's it. To catch a runaway horse, we need someone tough, fast, and brave. Like a cow bot. Yeah, Botasaur's super fast and strong. All we have to do is give him a little cowboy style. Hey, Botasaur, can you come to the recycling yard? We need you. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Want to help us get back Liam's birthday present? <laughs> Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with Botasaur. Then add Robo Boots with rocket powered spurs to keep up with the pony. And finally, an energy lasso so he can catch the fast moving Robo Pony. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Rusty, now Liam will get his present back. Why would you even rustle someone else's robo pony, Frankie? Especially when you knew it was for Liam's birthday. Well, uh, because your present was way better than mine. I'm sorry. I'm sure Liam will like your gift too. Let's get to that party pronto. Frankie, wanna come with us? Sure. Thanks. And no more robotic pony rustling. I promise. Yeehaw! I love my Robo Pony. It's the best. 
best Robo-Pony I've ever gotten. No, wait, it's the only one. <laughs> Thanks, Rusty and Ruby. We're mighty glad you liked it. Frankie, don't you have a present for Liam? Oh, yeah. It's not big or fancy like a Robo-Pony, but I hope you like it. <gasps> like it? I love it! Cause now I'm Sheriff Liam. <laughs> <laughs> and now Sheriff Liam declares more partying! Yeehaw! <laughs> Rusty's mouse problem. I love the science fair. It's so much fun seeing all the cool things everyone's working on. Yeah! I can't wait to check them out as soon as we're done showing them our speedy copier! <gasps> <laughs> Which copies anything super fast. Thanks. That is pretty awesome! I mean, it's okay. Ready for your big moment, Robomouse? Handstand! Backflip! Again! Close enough. Have some Robo Cheese. <clears throat> Who wants to see the latest from the greatest inventor in the world? Ooh, your volcano is really erupting. Science at work. What? Hmm. If I didn't get their attention with one mouse, how about two? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's enough. Oh, I'll switch. Oh, I'll switch. <gasps> that was fun to watch. Now we can all get back... Whoa, mouse! Get back to mouse? I think she means that mouse. And that one. And probably that one. Whoa, where did they all come from? Science fair is no place for mice. We need to get rid of them. Don't worry, Teacher Betty. We'll round them up and take them outside. Maybe they're hungry. We could attract them with something yummy and smelly. Like... my cheese sandwich. Great idea, Ruby! We could use the volcano as a smell funnel. Promise to put it back when we're done. And this fan to blow it through. Yes! It's working! Uh. Huh? I don't get it. Yeah, mice love cheese. But robo-mice only like robo-cheese. And they're gone. But they could come back any time. Sorry, everyone. No more science fair until we know the mice are all gone for good. Aww. There is definitely something really strange about those mice. Yeah, but where do they come from? And where did they go? Hey, Sammy, what's up? Mice are up and down and all around. You gotta help before they... <laughs> uh, let's go. I'm not going to stick around for them to blame it on me. Even if I did kind of do it. <laughs> wow, Sammy. You weren't kidding. I don't kid. Not about mice. Don't worry. We'll get them out. Yeah. Huh? What? Wheels? Those are definitely no ordinary mice. They're robot mice. Which is why I called you two. Can you get rid of them? Sure, but... Where do they go? Whoa! There are way more robo-mice than we thought! We have to get them out of here! But how? Cheese didn't work. We'll round them up and take them someplace they can't cause trouble. Great idea! Time to go mobile! Gently nudge them into that alley with this. 
Won't they just run out of the far end? Nope. When I give the signal, you block the exit with this. Got it. Then, one more gentle nudge into the cage, and we got them. All right. Come on, you guys. We're going to find you a much better place to hang out. Oh! Oh! It's safe to come down now, Sammy. Thanks, Rusty. Ruby, I'm coming your way. No way. Robo mice? That fly? Not good. What's weird is, if we didn't make the robot mice, who did? Single or double scoop of gelato? I can never decide. My robo mice? How are there so many? Frankie Fritz? Uh, I, I didn't do anything. I only made a few. Uh, uh I, I mean, I've never seen these robot mice before in my life. <gasps> he only made a few. Why are there so many? Speedy copier! We need to shut it down before it makes more than we can catch. Imagine how many it's already made by now. Just about. Enough to cause total chaos in town. Oh, don't tell me. They're back. And now they're everywhere. <gasps> Rusty, help! Don't worry, Sammy. We're going to need something that's really good at catching mice. Cats love to catch mice. But a cat isn't fast enough and can't jump high enough to catch robo-mice. We need a super fast, super high jumping cat. Tigerbot! Tigerbot, we need you. All right, Tigerbot. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with Tigerbot. Then we'll add a laser goggles so she can locate and track lots of mice at the same time. And finally, a cage, so Tigerbot can catch them all. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Don't worry. 
hurry. Rusty will get Ellie back. I see her. Tiger butt, full. Yeah. Two scoops of gelato was the perfect choice. Frankie, watch out! Okay, Ellie. Looks like Rusty, Ruby, and Tigerbot got the last of the mice. I believe these are yours, Frankie. I just wanted to make an extra one, since Robomouse is such a brilliant invention. But your machine got carried away! Tigerbot, that was amazing! We're super glad science fair is back on. Now that the mice are under control... Come on, guys! I just want to teach you one little trick. Here, have some... Uh-oh! Last piece of Robo-Cheese! <laughs> it's okay, guys. I know just what to do. No, I don't. Hey, Frankie! Got anything we could test our new and improved speedy copier with? Yeah, I do! Ah! <laughs> Quick, Rusty! <laughs> Rusty and the Pirates of Sparkton Hills. Our latest invention is done. A recycling bin that takes itself to the curb. Oh! <laughs> Frankie, did you see our invent- Rusty, get this! I just invented a remote control flying waffle maker! <laughs> see? Waffles anytime, anywhere! Best invention ever! Oops, I'm on it! What's this? It belongs to... R. R. the Fourth. <gasps> that must be your great great grandpa, Rustin Rivets the Fourth. He used to make inventions right here in this yard a long, long time ago. What's it say? What's it say? A treasure is buried. Have I got your attention? Follow this map to find my great piratey invention. <clears throat> cool. It's one of my great great grandpa's treasure maps. Awesome! It looks like the treasure is buried on an island. Let's use our pirate ship! The bits make great pirates. They're pie bits! <laughs> Frankie! Frankford! Are ye coming with us? <laughs> oh, uh, no, we aren't. We're busy today. Thanks! Bye! I know we're not busy today, Frankford, but I plan to find and keep that invention all for myself. Oh, and for you, too. <laughs> huh? Frankford? Help! Okay, let's see. We have lots of parts so we can build anything we need. And the deck is swabbed. <laughs> Okay. Ready to set sail for adventure, pirates? <laughs> Yar har har! Captain Rusty thinks the treasure is his, but Captain Frankie will get it first. How? I secretly took a picture of his map, and Rusty didn't see me. That's how. Oops, wrong picture. Here it is. See? Full Fritz ahead! According to the map, the treasure's on that island. We'll find my great-great-grandpa's invention in no time. No, you won't, because Captain Frankie will get it first. Frankie? But I thought you were busy today. I am busy. Busy trying to take the invention all for myself. 
My crew won't let that happen. <gasps> oh, but the weather looks bad. Thanks to the Frankie Fritz Fogger 5000. Treasure. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Rusty? We can't just wait for this Frankie fog to blow away. Blow! That's it! I've got an idea! Whirly, wanna be a super-powered fan and blow all that fog away? Rusty was easier than I thought. Ahoy there! <sighs> that fog cleared right up, thanks to Whirlybeard. Oh! Well, Captain Frankie has more tricks than just fog. <laughs> oh no! That reflector is heating up the sand! So you can't walk on it. Now the treasure will be all mine. <laughs> if we can't walk on the sand, he'll get my grandpa's treasure. <laughs> we need to get across that super hot sand and stop Frankie from taking the treasure. Oh, I have an idea. We can't walk across the sand, but maybe our ship can, crab style. Let's add legs to our ship. <laughs> Oh. Great idea, Ruby! <laughs> Time to set sail on sand! <laughs> Woohoo! To treasure! Giant crab walking pirate ship! Awesome! Except Rusty Rivets is in it. <laughs> Don't worry, Long John Stinky. I have one more plan. <laughs> okay, mateys. According to the map, the treasure's on top of this cliff. <gasps> You're right! An X! It must be buried under there. I know a faster way to dig. Crab claws, nice touch. <laughs> Thanks for finding the treasure for me, Captain Rusty. <laughs> We can't let him get away! We've got to catch him! But how? Our ship can't fly! Not yet! <gasps> we can use the parts we brought to make a flying pirate ship! Let's combine it... ...and design it! We'll start with our pirate ship. Then add wings to make it fly. Turbo jets to make it go super fast. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Modify. Customize. Rustify. The Flying Pirate Ship 3000! Let's go get that treasure, matey! Ah. <laughs> the treasure is ours, Frankford! All ours! Captain Rusty can't stop us!
us now. Ahoy, Captain Frankie. What? Shiver me timbers. A flying pirate ship? That's awesome! Except Rusty Rivets is in it. You'll never catch us! Yo-ho, hold on, everyone! belongs with me, the greatest inventor the Uh-oh. Hang on, everyone. Both feet down. We can't reach them in time. Oh, yes, we can. I added a little something extra to our ship. But who's got the treasure? Captain Ruby and the Pie Bits to the rescue! <laughs> okay, even I've got to admit, that was pretty cool. Now we can finally see what my great-great-grandpa invented! Whoa! Is that a parrot? Boss? Hello? I'm Polly Bot. It's a parrot robot! Bot? Cool! Bot? Hello, Captain Rusty! He knows my name! That is a great piratey treasure! Welcome to the crew, Polly Bot! Hello, awesome robotic parrot! <laughs> I think it likes you, Frankie. Of course he does. I am the greatest inventor in the world, after all. Ah, Rusty's the greatest! What? No, I think you mean Frankie's the greatest. Nope, Rusty! <laughs> Rusty's monkey business. I'm so excited to see monkeys in the rainforest! Me too! It was nice of Ranger Anna to invite us to help study them. They're awesome! Ranger Anna said we should meet her at this big tree, but she's not here. Ooh -ah! Ooh -ah! Hello down there! <laughs> Hi, Ranger Anna. What are you doing up there? I put my monkey viewing platform up where the monkeys are. I'd invite you up too, but my ladder is gone and I can't get down. What happened to it? Good question. You might want to ask my friends over there. <laughs> <laughs> monkeys love monkeying around. They can't help it, they're monkeys. <laughs> but I'm gonna need that ladder back. Did you try asking? Several times. Watch! You see what they said? Um... We don't speak, monkey. Oh, right! They just keep saying banana. Banana, banana, banana. But I already told them I don't have any bananas. Huh. That's weird. Right? And meanwhile, I'm stuck in a tree. <sighs> Don't worry, Anna. We'll get you down. But how? The tree is so ginormous. Let's see what we have in the mobile rivet lab. It's lab time. <laughs> What can we use to save Ranger Anna? Let's see. Oh, I've got it! I could get up there if I bounce from branch to branch. Good idea. Let's make something great. Ta-da! Bouncy 
shoes. Nice. I'll be up in a second, Ranger Anna. Go Rusty! Shoes that bounce? You guys make the coolest stuff ever. Well, the same thing! Banana, 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 banana! They don't think I'm a banana, do they? Because I'm rusty. Rust. Whoa! 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 Hey! Whoa! Ruby, you! Claw on it! Why would a monkey want springs? <laughs> um, think you can hurry it up a little? Or I might get down the bad way. Yikes! By falling! Wait, that's it! You can fall down, because we'll build something to catch you. To the Mobile Rivet Lab! Oh, that's amazing. I was getting worried for a minute. Just jump straight down onto the bullseye. The Bounce-tacular Ranger Saver will save you. Cause you're a ranger. Woohoo! Here goes nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Now the monkeys took our ranger saver. We'd better come up with a new idea. And fast! <laughs> Whoa! Rusty! Guys? Number one, this platform is very hard to stay on now. And number two, help! Hold on, Ranger Anna, we'll have you down in no time. Through trees. Or had something great at swinging, like our own monkey. Wait, we can make a robot monkey. It has to be big and strong enough to carry Ranger Anna down. Like a gorilla. <laughs> They're smart and super powerful. <laughs> Let's combine it and design it. <laughs> We'll start with robotic arms, with big hands that are super strong and super soft. Perfect for swinging through trees and carrying Anna. Then I'll program him to be a fun gorilla friend. And last but not least, we'll add a body with powerful legs, like a real gorilla. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Whoa. 
Wow, we did a good job making Botterilla strong. I'll say. Help! Okay, big guy. Ruby and I can help you find sturdy branches. Big branch on the left, go! Now that curvy one, on the right. Now, uh, two branches up on the left. Watch out for that bird's nest! <laughs> Atta boy! Jaguars! Nice work! Good boy! Oh. <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> I like him! <laughs> we do too! Okay, Botterilla, let's head back down. <laughs> Thanks for the lift, guys! <laughs> Why do the monkeys keep taking things? What are they doing with it all? Well, studying monkeys is why I'm here, so let's go see! Follow that monkey, Botterilla! <laughs> yeah! took the ladder, <laughs> springs, and ranger saver to try to reach those bananas. That's why they kept saying banana over and over again. This is incredible. Monkeys using tools. <laughs> I've read about it, but I've never seen it in real life. They're brilliant. Come on, let's go help. <laughs> You two. We got our stuff back, they got some delicious food, and I'm not stuck in a tree! Woohoo! And we've got an awesome new friend, Botterilla. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Botterilla has some new friends too. <laughs> <laughs> Snowman. Oh, 
looks well on the slopes. <sighs> Time to warm up and relax with a nice hot cup of cocoa. Mm -hmm. oh. Oops! You lost your head! Come back, Mr. Snowman's head! Okay? No. I'm awesome! That was super fun! Let's do it again! I think Mr. Snowman ate us. We have to stop here. The road is covered in snow. Where did Liam go? And where did the ranger station go? Let's check my tablet. <gasps> it's buried under all that snow! Kids. Hi. There you are. For a second, we were worried you were trapped in the ranger station. Where are you? We're trapped in the ranger station. What? <gasps> Can you get us out? The snowman festival is starting soon, and I've been waiting all winter for it. You two sit tight. We'll have you out in a jiffy. <gasps> Whoa, this snow's too deep to walk in. Something made for snow. A snowmobile would be perfect. It's too bad we don't have one. Maybe not a snowmobile, but we could make a blizzard bike. Let's make something great. <laughs> Woohoo! Blizzard bikes are fun. Okay, Ruby, I'm going in. The snow's just too deep. Even a blizzard bike can't climb up it. <gasps> I've got it! If we can't go on the snow, we'll go over it instead. We'll make a zip line. <laughs> I hope Rusty and Ruby get here soon. I don't want to miss the snowman festival. I'm sure they will. But in the meantime, how about I tell a story? Oh, yeah. I love stories. Once upon a time, long ago, I was hiking the freezing Arctic in search of the elusive snow leopard. But instead, I thought I saw the legendary snow creature. It was all white and gigantic and said, <laughs> One zip line coming up. to dig them out. And I finally found my missing backpack way up in a tree. To this day, I'm convinced it was the work of the legendary snow creature. Whoa, that's so cool. You know what else would be cool? The snowman festival. I wonder if it started yet. <gasps> the legendary snow creature? Or Rusty and Ruby coming to rescue us. <sighs> They have to be down here somewhere. At this rate, we'll have them dig out in approximately 37 days. That's definitely not soon enough. What do we do now? Okay, we need to make a plan so we can rescue Ranger Anna and Liam. We need something that can get to the ranger station without sinking in the snow. But is still strong enough and big enough to dig the station out. Maybe something that could jump from tree to tree, over the snow. <gasps> Butterilla! And we'll give him new parts for the snow. Butterilla, we need you. <laughs> okay, Butterilla, it's time to combine it and design it. Start 
Gorilla for his amazing tree jumping skills and mega ape strength. Then we'll add a snowplow shovel so we can dig Ranger Anna and Liam out fast. And last but not least, a snow blower to blast away the snow. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Chillbot, we need your help rescuing Liam and Ranger Anna from under all that snow. But we can't step on the snow or we'll sink. We have to go over it by hopping from tree to tree. Oh, oh. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Come on, let's get hopping. All right, let's bounce. play hide and seek anymore. I want to make a snowman. When are we going to get out of here? Soon. I hope. Just a few more to go. <laughs> Time to dig deep. You're all good. We're almost there. Just a little bit more. Stop! <gasps> the legendary snow creature. Awesome! Rusty! Rusty. Actually, that's Botterilla. He's just covered in snow. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. Nice! Aw, they already started the snowman festival. Don't worry, Liam. We'll get down there in no time. On the Botterilla Express! <laughs> Go! <laughs> the legendary bug! 